What's up YouTube? Ian Sandusky back here again for Let's Machine. Today we're going to be doing a little surfacing with the ball nose inside the Haas Automation VF5 using Mastercam. If you don't have Mastercam, uh, this may not apply to you, but it's a good way to see, you know, one way to do things that way. Um, for surfacing, we're going to be using a quarter inch ball nose, probably a one eighth ball nose, depending on how the one eight, or uh, quarter inch comes out. Uh, I believe we're going to be roughing with a three eighths, perhaps a half inch, depending on how it looks in the simulation. So if you're going to follow along, have all these things on hand, I will be posting the little texture file I make. Uh, so if you want to try this yourself, you can. Um, this isn't really for any purpose. You know, this little thing I'm doing just kind of, I want to test out this texture so I can use it for um, potentially some other projects, you know, maybe some architectural stuff uh, or some furniture design stuff I'm trying to do right now. Um, so yeah, if you want to use it, you know, this is considered freeware, okay? Um, let's go upstairs. Let's take a look at the, program, or at the part we're gonna surface and then uh, we'll come back down here and set up the machine, all right? Let's go. So here we go, guys. This is our piece we're gonna be surfacing. Um, two inch by six inch. You can see this pattern I did here just with surfaces and flat boundaries. Well, hopefully it's going to turn out cool. So I'm roughing it with dynamic OptiRough. I'll turn this on so you can see it here. Not really what dynamic OptiRough is for. Um, you should be using pretty much full flute engagement. I like it just because it's kind of neat and I don't really care about time right now and I just like watching it when it does it. Um, besides that though, uh, you know, you could use area rough or whatever on this. I'm just using this just for fun. Clearance is obviously way too high. I wouldn't actually leave it this high. And then we're going to finish with surface high speed. I turn on you can see there uh, we're doing scallop rest passes so what that does is it starts in the center and steps down um, rest passes is because we're um, training to stock from the first operation which is computed from here so if I wanted to do a 1 8 after I could do this and it would only go where the quarter inch hasn't gone um, and everything else is pretty much the same um, yeah so that's what we're gonna run That's how we're going to surface that little part inside the Haas Automation VF5 using Master Cam for Um Many different ways to do things. I could have attacked that from you know, a couple of different tool paths that way, a couple of different surfacing options. There's a million different ways to do things. Uh, I guarantee some of you guys to surface all the time and you can tell me I did this completely wrong. That's fine. One thing I've learned in machining, I'm sure if you've been in the straight brand like the time you'll know, everybody's got their way of doing things. Are some ways better and faster? Sure. Does the job still get done? Sure, if you're not doing it in a production sense or you know, you're not charging somebody else for it, in my opinion, who cares, okay? Uh, if you want to see more videos, make sure you like and subscribe below. That's all I can tell if you guys are watching this. Share it with your friends, you know, let's get the word out there. Uh, I believe next week we are going to CMTS. If you want to see a video on that, me and a guy from my shop here, you can go check out it, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. You take care.